Hey guys, hey. welcome back to the channel. Julie and I are here again today with another Urbex video. <laughs> I'm gonna take Michael on a little hike on the Greenway, Campbell Creek Greenway, and show him the ruins of an old abandoned grist mill. I don't think you've ever seen anything no. like this. As far as I know from the internet, it is missing its huge water wheel, so that's kind of a bummer. But we're going to go check out kind of a creepy old place okay. and show you a beautiful hike in the fall in North Carolina and tell you everything I can learn about this grist mill online. Let's go. Yay. I'm excited. I love our vet. Let's do some more. <laughs> Let's do it. So green and so pretty. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the creeks get a little bit stinky. But <laughs> well, look how still the water is. Yeah. I don't know what these things are for. Somebody in the, who's watching this video will know. Yeah, I think please. it's gas release. Oh, is it? I, I, I don't know. That's my oh. guess. That's my guess. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> That's a guess. <laughs> That's just so pretty. That's pretty. Isn't yeah. that gorgeous? I cannot believe how green everything is. It's so beautiful. Still, this late in the year. This I know. Green. Global you got warming. All over the <laughs> I know. Cotton? Well, I mean, yeah, I know it's taller than what it should be. I've never really seen a cotton cotton plant this tall, but I don't know what else it could be. Somebody tell me down below. It's taller than I am. You Here, go stand it. beside it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull huh. up my C cap. Yeah. Let us see. What's it say? American burnweed? Burnweed? Huh. Well, there you go. Not cotton. Not cotton. <laughs> Guys, we almost passed it. <laughs> we, it just blends right in to the woods over here. Look at that. Beautiful structure. How do we get there? Oh, uh, we're gonna figure that one out. <laughs> There's this a is only point two one from the, huh. of the trail. Well, this is it. Okay. There's a sign over here. Let me show you. This is called the Lucas Family Grist Mill. Oh. A tumor specialist. I actually didn't know that from my research. Nineteen seventy at night. Oh, I love the sound of that water.
Wow. Okay, I made it over on a different section than where Julie was. I'm trying to make it through the trees here and the brambles and see if I can film a little bit from this other side. I am. Look at this cool thing. Julie is way over there. I'm in. Looks like we've had some Taggers as well. Let's see if I can get over these cobblestones and get in here. Where you at, Jules? Yeah. Yep. Can you get through there? No. The fence is down on the other side. Yeah, there's a tree that fell on the fence here. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking. Oh, there you go. She's in. Oh, there is a little bit of a wheel left. Yeah. That is tetanus waiting to happen. Wow. Wow. I have no idea what that is. What? Well, um, I forgot to tell you, there was a sawmill on this site once upon a time before it became a grist mill. Oh, okay. I don't know what that got anything to do with what that could be. This is so wild. Look at this building. I mean, there's like pieces of little stick, like metal in there that they built it from. Uh-huh. Hi. <laughs> I see that.
Ooh, it's a lot of cobblestone from where this is crumbled. Is that where the water was? Well, the water would have been over here with the creek. But I Look think at this guy. I see a little bit of... Oh, that's just the pipe. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So why would you need this big pipe? Uh, You're right by the river. Maybe that's the direction that the water went okay watch that big guy whoa look at that hope i don't step on that by mistake i feel like this look mm -hmm. there's stone over there there's stone here i feel like this was a room too maybe that does look like some sort of fence, fence go all the way or down line down here if yeah this is where the grist mill kind of stops yeah right. you need to be careful i do you keep filling, because I gotta look at the ground at all times. Never <laughs> intended to be in here. Ah! Nope, oh, you okay? I'm just a leaf. <laughs> okay, see if I can get out. Well, that's. Oh. Yeah, be careful. Are you trying to go up that? Yeah, I was gonna try to go out the way I came in. Okay. But I don't know if that's gonna be close to the Need a lift? I'm not. Ooh, come up here. Okay, vlog, it's me behind the water wheel again here. There's definitely a path someone has made. But look over here. What is that for? Look at the size of this screw. Look at that. Wow. And it just keeps on going. This little wall here. I am up on top of the retaining wall, but I don't think Michael's gonna be able to get up here. Um, he has a hip that doesn't really bend <laughs> properly. I'm going to actually walk the perimeter of the chain link fence and see if there's anything cool before handing the camera back to Michael. So let's go for a little hike. Look at this. I mean, this is definitely a path, right? I'm barefoot. I know I keep saying that. Things did not go according to plan. Ooh, just went through a spider web. Gross. Oh, here you can see more. Yeah, of the... Okay, so this has to be like where water would come from the mill, right? Over there. Through the pipe. And that way, right? Isn't that how they made energy? From a grist mill? Or a grist mill, I think, just grinded up stuff, right? All right, I got to step over this. Hang on. Okay, let's see if the path keeps going. Mm. Sorry guys, another spider web. That one freaked me out. I think I'm gonna cut it here and come back to where you are. That was as far as I could go barefoot okay. safely. There was like okay. brambly stuff that looked thorny. Yeah. Let me give you back to my- Look at you, you look so small so compared to how high this thing is. I know. How high do you think? Do you think that's a hundred feet? I mean, that's at least seven stories, right? I think it's about 50 feet. 50? I, I think so, just based on my height. Well, actually it's gonna be higher than that. I'm not on the ground, so yeah. Um, 60? Wow. 50, 60 North Carolina? Yeah, and the last place it was seen in the wild, as far as I know, was here. Okay. Um, and it's a nice snake, you know, one that doesn't bite. Seed insects or other rodents or... I went through two spider webs. <laughs> oh, boy. How did you get in here? Uh, very carefully. 
Well, so through the door. Do well, no, through the backwards barefoot. Yeah, exactly. Well, I didn't go through this way. I went the straight. I went over here, guys, where there's a clearing. See, you don't have to go through any bushes. <laughs> no, no, no. Hang on, straight ahead, sweetie. Straight ahead. Well, I don't know if I can step on that. That's chain link. Well, this is true. Give me a second. Can you try to go right here? Yeah, don't let this pop up. I won't. Wait till I get all the way off. I got you. Okay, don't move yet. All right. Okay, I'm off. Okay, we're off. You okay to get over? Yeah, I'm cool. Did you see the big spider web? I showed yeah. the camera. No, the really big one. Oh. This guy. Oh, I'm glad I didn't walk through him. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, this looks... Good. Yeah, it's fairly tramped, uh, trampled down here. Very wet. Is it? <laughs> yeah. The ground is very wet. I don't even think I've gotten a thorn. I'm so proud. Those bare feet shoes. Yeah. I know I've been more stable crossing in my barefoot today. I would have already dumped my shoes in the water. These are the rocks I used, yeah. Yeah. Let's get back here and sit on this rock and just admire this place. Okay. Who knows when we'll be back to see it. We're just going to sit here on a rock in the river and admire this incredible this cool. grist mill. Yeah. I don't know if this is actually the water wheel, but I realized I didn't get to show you because I didn't have the camera when I entered the grist mill from the back side and Michael from the other side. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to get back up there and show you, but I don't feel like climbing through the chain link fence barefoot a second time. <laughs> um, but it was a really small wheel. I thought water wheels were huge. So I don't know. I'm gonna show it to the vlog and hope somebody else can tell me what this is. All right, I came in without the camera because it was in Michael's pocket. He crossed the creek over here and went the back that went that way. I came across the creek here, climbed over this chain link fence via the help of this log. And if you can see, the wheel that I'm talking about is right there. Let me climb up a little higher so I can show you better. Okay guys, this is as far as I'm gonna go a second time. But the wheel I'm talking about is right here. Doesn't that seem kind of small though? For a grist mill wheel? I tried to look down inside of it. It's very dark. You can't really see. It looked like just some trash that was down in there. Um, but I mean, compared to the size of this, Michael says this is probably 50 feet tall at least. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It just seems kind of small to me. So I don't know if that was the water wheel or not. Wouldn't it have to be though? Because it's over here on the side of the creek. Where would you even put a bigger wheel? Yeah. Is that, is that an auxiliary wheel or is that the main one? I don't know. I don't know. Or is that like the little wheel that powers the bigger wheel? I don't know. The wheel's made of wood, so a larger one might... That one's wood. made of uh, something that rusts. Iron, maybe? That one rusts? Yeah, it's all okay. rusty. That's why I'm not getting any closer to it, guys, barefoot. But anyway, I think you can kind of see. If there's any grist mill fans out there, I think you can get a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. I thought, you see that little ledge up there, which is where I took the camera to show you, that that would have been like the center of the wheel, and then the wheel would be this huge, you know, huge thing right here. But what do I know about grist mills? Next to nothing. <laughs> 
What a view. Isn't that beautiful? I was asking Julie because I didn't get to see it from that angle. Is that the small wheel you think you saw? Because we saw I this. I videoed this. It's turned over. Yeah. But I videoed the millstone. That's a grindstone, yeah. But if this is the... Okay, this just Ooh. says typical. Typical. So I don't know if this See, water that's what wheel, I was thinking. You know, a big... Yeah. Big one. Okay, that's fine. It's not like I'm disappointed. The, the mill think, itself is beautiful. I wish I could buy it and turn that into a this. home. Yeah. And we saw the big horizontal shaft. Yeah. Well, just so you know, they're putting all this information on the sign in the hopes that people will not feel the need to go over there and see it, see it themselves in person. <laughs> we're a little more curious than that. Yeah. So we did. I want it known there is no, no trespassing sign. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We City of Charlotte, if you're watching this, there's a chain link fence that's fell down in more places than it's upright, and there's uh -huh. no, no trespassing signs. So, uh, do better, Charlotte. <laughs> Okay guys, we already shot an outro in the car because we didn't think anybody would want to look at our hot and sweaty faces, but it just felt a little bit more authentic yeah, to do the outro hard, while standing here in the creek before we leave. This is my kind of date day this out, was, I tell you. This was really neat. Uh, Julie's gotten me into the urbexing. She's done it many more years than, than I've done it. Um, you guys have actually seen all the films of the urbex, uh, urbexing that I've done so far. So this was, a, this was a neat little afternoon, a little warm, but it was fun. It was really fun. All right, guys. We'll see you another day in another adventure. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.